Welcome everybody, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. So let's go ahead and jump into it and check out all of the changes in iOS 10 Beta 3. First up, Control Center has these new panes in there for HomeKit and music. Inside of HomeKit, the little icon in the top corner said scenes and access dot dot dot. Now it says accessories. It's fully spelled out and no longer abbreviated. So let's go ahead and jump to messages now or really any application that use keyboards because the original keyboard, the sound that was here with beta one has come back again. So beta one had a much quieter, softer sound. It went back to the original style in beta two. Now we're back to the new style that originated with beta one. Image picker in messages as well also no longer crops every image to be a square image. It's a lot easier now to see a full image. So if you have something tall like a screenshot, you will see a taller image in there. So nice, easier to tell. Locking your phone, two changes here. One, the original lock sound that was with beta one has come back, so a much smaller, quieter noise, as well as the fact that you can get some taptic feedback when you lock your phone. So two changes with locking your device. Inside of the help application, if you change it as well, all of these different kind of cards here, they have these little videos on top. Well, they're not actually videos at the moment. They are still placeholders, so that has not changed, but now there is a little tagline underneath each of them. So all four of those images still don't play. They're not videos yet, just images, but there is text below them now that just gives a tagline about what it is. You also can share your activity data. So Apple now prompts you help and help improve activity and share your data with Apple. You can opt out at any point. You don't have to do it by any means, but that is a new option inside of the health app. Let's pop into settings and check out Siri. There is a new section for app support. This will most likely be populated as we release the full release of iOS 10, where other applications can now support Siri, such as Uber and the like. Also in settings, if we go to general, jump down to accessibility, this was in beta two, which was the uh, ability to rest your finger to unlock on the home button. Unfortunately, it worked very unreliably. It did not work for me actually at all. So when I had this enabled, uh, I still could not rest my finger to unlock. Well, in this beta, it has been fixed. It works reliably. And this actually will mimic exactly how it was in iOS nine. So you don't have to press the home button. So if you hate having to press your home button to unlock, you can enable that and jump back to iOS nine. In iOS 10, icons that did not have 3D touch enabled had a little option to share that application, but it just said share. Now it'll actually have the full name of the application as well, so share Pokemon Go. HomeKit also has a small improvement. If we go to the settings application, then home, you can now see any devices that are hubs. So it used to be just Apple TVs in iOS 10. iPads can also be hubs, but any hubs will be listed there and whether or not they are online bit of an odd one here, but it was kind of a bug in the last beta uh, that would prevent any music that you had playing coming out of the actual iPhone speakers. It would stop any time that there was haptic feedback. So if I 3D touch on something, the music could stop for just that split second. So that has been fixed luckily in this latest beta. Now the biggest improvement here is for all you Pokey players out there. Pokemon has been fixed. The AR, the gyroscope stuff that was not working in the last couple builds now actually works. So if you are playing Pokemon Go, one of you trainers out there, you can successfully use this, use that augmented reality quite well. So that is a big improvement. So that's all we have for us. Let us know if we miss anything down in the comments below. iOS 10 will be available this fall. Please go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.